Howdy guys. Uh, in today's how-to, I thought we would go over something that you should get used to doing whenever you're dealing with networking equipment, and that is the reset or uh, clearing the configs. So the thing we're about to go over today will work with access points, it'll work with switches, it'll work with routers. And so I'm going to take you through a basic procedure and then occasionally we'll stop along the way and talk about some of the basic differences. But there you have it. So talk about the reset procedure. All right, here we are back to my desktop and we're going to start our reconfiguration or reset procedure for the Cisco box. So I'm going to go to device manager and see where my COM ports are. So we can see that my USB to serial adapter is mapped to COM 13. And if I come down to PuTTY, and let's try and make this a little easier for us to see. We'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to change my, let me go to back to regular here. And I like that. So in my session, we're going to go to COM 13 and go ahead and open it up. Now sometimes you'll see PuTTY or your terminal emulator will sort of hang there. It's not really hanging. It's just waiting for you to do something. So if you hit enter a couple of times, you usually get your prompt. Let's make our window a little bigger. See what we're dealing with here. And we can see we're at the switch prompt. So let's go and type in enable. And from here we know that we can get to our show commands. So I'm going to do my show here and take a look at my default configuration. And it looks like I've got some stuff going on here. So this is a great procedure to go through when somebody else had the box before you or you just want to start from scratch because you did something wrong you're not really sure what's happening. So uh, what I'm going to do first is show you a little bit about the file system. So we know that the switch has the iOS on it so it's got an image file but sometimes you can take a look at the directory structure and see that there's actually a couple of other files. Now the procedure that we're going to go through today works for routers, bridges, switches, access points, all that stuff. This one happens to be a switch, and I know that because I've got this VLAN.dat right here. Now one of the gotchas about resetting the machines is that you can reset a machine and there's and so bring it back to what we might call factory defaults and some stuff doesn't go away and VLANs are one of them. So if you've got a VLAN.dat file, what you want to make sure of is that you get rid of it. I also see that here that there's some uh, old configurations on here um, and so maybe you want to get rid of those. I'm not going to worry about those today. So the first things that we're going to do is I'm going to do a write erase. Okay, and this is just asking me if I'm sure that I want to do that. Now the other thing that I might do I took a look at the directory and there, there isn't one there, but what if I also wanted to make sure that somebody hadn't got a configuration on here that would um, configure the switch on boot. And so we call that the startup config. And so what I'm going to do is just to make sure I would do erase startup config. And if there was one, that would get rid of it. And so that is, those are the two files that I want to get rid of. But now we know that we've got this VLANs problem out there. So I'm going to do a delete VLAN.dat. Now, anytime you are working with the files on the flash, you want to be very careful about what you delete. So we know this one is one that we don't want. So you see Cisco is very concerned that I might delete something we need. So I'm actually going to do that. So now if I take a look at the dir, I can see that I've gotten rid of most of the stuff that I won't want. The last thing that I need to do here is a reload and this tells the switch to reboot and I'm going to say no to changing the configuration and then we're going to go ahead and reboot the switch. Now you might hear the fan noise behind me pick up a little bit. Uh, some of the devices that we have in the data center or in a closet uh, really work hard especially when they're booting and then they sort of calm down after that. And we'll just sort of do this real time and wait for it to reload. So the switch is booting. And we're waiting. There we go. 
So this is normal. You should see this every single time. So if you get to a console before you boot up a machine, this is what you expect to see. If you get to it afterwards, you might just have the, the switch or the router or the access point prompt. And we'll see how long this takes. Depending on how much processing power and how much memory you have in there, this can actually take a little while. You can see that up here, they pointed out that it took 17 seconds to go through the flash check. So now we're actually booting, it's loading the image into memory and getting it ready to go. We can see that there are a lot of self tests that we have to go through. And again, I'm doing this all in real time for you. This one happens to be a Cisco 3550 switch, so a little dated. So your if you're dealing with new equipment, should take a little less time than this. And we're just about there. coming up I can feel it come on switch all right there we are <clears throat> now I'm gonna stop here for a sec because we can see there it's asking me a question the initial configuration dialog this was oops so this is designed to be very helpful it's really a long process that you want to go through so the answer to this question for me is always no because I don't want to go through the questions terminate the auto install in brackets here we can see that it says yes so if I just hit enter here it'll be yes but we'll go ahead and type it in so you know what uh, what I'm about here yes so I have not asked the switch to do anything for me because I'm gonna tell it what I want to do in this configuration or whatever is gonna to happen to do so now we hit enter a couple times, and there we have it. We're back to our switch prompt, and do our enable thing, and now we can go to configure terminal again. Now, we're just about to the end of this video, but I wanted to show you something here. If you do a show run, oh, God, I did it again. Let's see, let's try that again. Let's go back here. If I go uh, do a show run, <clears throat> what, um, what you should get used to is what a default configuration looks like when you're setting up a device so that when there are changes you know they happened and certainly you should become familiar with your own configurations but we can see here on the switch that there's not a whole lot going on um, not a whole lot of configuration so this shows me that I did in fact reset the switch so that there's not a whole lot going on here there are some other basic checks that I might do I could do a show VLAN and I can see that everybody, all the ports are in VLAN. Whoops, all my ports are in VLAN 1. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of modification there. There are no IP addresses in there. So this switch appears to be reset. Well, that'll about do it for today. I hope this helps when you're resetting your own devices. And again, this procedure works on access points or routers or switches. You just have to be sometimes a little careful when you're deleting files that might be resident on the flash. Um, finally, remember that this is networking. <laughs>